and welcome to Animal House Radio, and we're doing a special live broadcast because we have a very extra special guest in the house. She is an icon in every sense of the word, uh, a true pioneer of music, and uh, we are honored to have her here today. It took some doing. I scoured the globe for her, but I finally got her. Uh, to her friends and family, she's known as Manuela Camosi, but to us uh, music fans and, and everybody worldwide, please welcome for the first time, and hopefully not the last on Animal House Radio, Ya Kid K. <laughs> Yaya, ya, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing great. I just want to tell you that it's a complete honor to be speaking you, to you today. Um, you have no idea the impact that you've made on so many people. And, uh, you know, I just it's just a pleasure and an honor to be speaking to you. And I thank you for giving us this time this morning. You're very welcome. Thanks a lot. <laughs> so uh, c catch me up on a lot of things. How did it how did it all come about that you want to do music when you were a little girl or how did it where did you get your love of music from yeah from from <laughs> you want me to be really honest from uh musicals <laughs> oh wait hey, no that's cool yeah no, I, I well no you know there was always music in the house my father brought a lot of motown music he was friends with the commodore's manager at the time so whenever he came back from the States, he had all these, this music with him and just, we would, my mom loves music. She was more like an ABBA fan and we had Elvis records. We just all were like everything you can, I mean, all the music you can imagine. We've been exposed to since childhood, but I used to love musicals. And I think it's Doris, Doris Day, Calamity Jane. <laughs> oh, wow. That started me. I know that sounds really weird. Right? That, no, that's interesting. It's it's the first time I've ever heard that, but you know, it's not you know. Hey, whatever, I, whatever I gets you. Told yeah, yeah. Um, I you know I I. It's weird when I try to find guests. I try to find uh, guests that are iconic and people who are uh, made people made lasting memories for fans, and you're definitely qualified. Um, and I was like, you know, I was like. I just went on a big weight loss journey. I was 300 pounds. Now I'm down to 250. Um, and I got to tell you that if you look on YouTube and you look up, get up, the, 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 the plays are going up because I've been playing it every day at the gym and it's, it's getting me motivated. So I got to thank you for that. <laughs> ah, oh, that's nice. You're welcome. <laughs> no, you know, um, I got it. You know, I saw your YouTube channel and I, you tell the most interesting stories. You tell these little quick stories. And um, one of my favorite ones was that you were in New York City with your sister and you and, and I think you um, you spotted Omar Epps. Yes. And you kept saying <laughs> juice, 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 juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I nudged her. I said, look, look, juice, juice, and, juice, juice. And, he, and we could tell he could hear us, but he was not, you know. I, I understand now. I, I understand. You know, sometimes so, you're just not in the mood. <laughs> no, no. I <laughs> No, but I know that had to be a big deal. And then, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but your first um, celebrity you actually met was the Knight Rider car? Yes. <laughs> yes, the Knight Rider car is the first one that made a big impression on me. Because technically, see, that was at Universal Studios back in 1985. Technically, it would have been, uh, what's his name? Robert Wagner that I first saw because he was part of, you know, the tour, like you first come in and the, right, I don't right. know. It, but yes, Kit is the one that really, you know, made a big impression on me because I had a conversation. I went, you know, you got you got to sit inside the car and speak. <laughs> oh, Kit. wow. All and right. I had a very, ah, oh, there you are. Finally, I see your face. I, ah, oh, I can't believe it. I'm seeing you. So now that's it. This is uh, joining us now is No Filter Paul. He's our IT guy, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. But uh, Paul, I want to introduce you to uh, Ya Kid K. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Nice. Uh, oh well, nice to hear you. I don't see you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. We, we can we can we can uh, we can ad lib this. But um, Paul is also a huge fan of yours, and uh, he's been like me. He's been listening to your, to your music since we were. See, we were kids. So, Paul, if you have any questions, go right ahead. All right, yeah. So, I mean, I, I basically grew up at the end of high school with uh, Get Up and, uh, you know, Speed is Technotronic, and it was it was really great. 
But I don't know if Carlos asked you, this is the question I'm sure you get asked all the time. How, how did you feel about the first song without you in the video? How, how did you feel about that? Well, I was very sad. <laughs> I was very right, sad. I imagine, right? Yeah, what? What, what? Go ahead. What'd you say? No, he said he could imagine you were upset about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, because this was, you know, I mean, that that's not what I had in mind they did say they did say to me that if i wasn't going to sign anything they would promote it without me but i i wasn't i, I didn't think that that would happen you know my friends came and told me your records in the shop with a girl on it and not just that it said featuring felly on the cover and she gets vocal credits on the initial cover and stuff like that you know but i i talked it out with the producer and you know i i talk about it on the channel so you can always go Right, right. Yeah, I know there's a little bit of like uh, not bad blood, but I know there was a lot of tense tenseness between you and Felly, and you know that's all water under well, the bridge. Her, a total of you know, I met the first time I met her was right before the night before the video shoot, and then maybe once after that. It's not like I've really had. That's the most I've ever really spoken to her was that the evening before the video shoot. I've not really spoken to her besides that so i don't, I don't think it, just, it wasn't I, her it wasn't her fault right i mean it was it was the producer, no right? no it, no she was she kind of got herself caught up in a milli vanilli situation you know right they, they, <laughs> yeah 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 that's funny yeah, apparently signed uh, to lie i mean that's just but i didn't so you know i wasn't gonna and since they, they, this is not something that i agreed to i wasn't just gonna you know i was i was really 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 sad because i i think i'm really good with voices you know i recognize voices really well and i'm th i'm thinking you know if i'm somebody else is out there with my voice when i come out it's just not it's just really it's not gonna yeah. work out for me <laughs> so i had right. to put my foot down but, yeah. <laughs> yeah now yeah yeah you said you got exposed to a lot of different music um you know growing up so how did you morph into becoming a, a female rapper because i have to say and I mean this with all due respects. I think you're one of the most underrated female rappers that ever came out. And I don't think that, you know, you got the, the accolades and the credit that you truly deserve. Well, I don't think that what's on the Technotronic record can really be, I don't know, <laughs> considered as rap. It's more like chants and stuff, you know, little short chants and stuff. But I do have other stuff that's just not, you know, been whatever. But yeah, no, uh, thank you. But uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm that good, though. I mean, I'm okay, you know. <laughs> no, you, know you, I had mean... to, you had top 10 hits in England. I think you in Europe, you were bigger than in the USA, you know, because I remember the song Get Up was, uh, you know, the big hit after... You know, even though Pump Up the Jam was big, but uh, you know, Get Up was was huge in England. I remember, yeah. I remember walking home from from school listening to that. You know, so it was yeah. great. Yeah. And uh, yeah. now is now is it is it true that your sister did some of the vocals on one of those tracks, and she was like twelve or thirteen? Is that correct? No, but I did record some stuff with my sister. It was just never released. I recorded something with uh, David 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 Morales was producing in a studio and me and my sister but we never we never released it and then afterwards when she did her own stuff we also recorded a nice track of hers you know that i feature on but we never released it uh, okay. but on the technotronic no there's no she she doesn't do any vocals on on okay. here Right. And, and now, uh, yeah, let me ask you, um, you, you worked a lot. Joe Berg, Yo Berger was, was key in, in putting together a lot of stuff with all your songs. Did you write them or was it a collaboration between you and Yo and, and MC Eric? And well, I, I wrote the lyrics, you know, I got the music, I got the music and I just wrote the lyrics at home and then went to the studio and record. Oh, wow. That's, was it, what was your yeah. process for doing it? Was it hard to come up with them or was it just, did you actually sit down and no. say, I got to write a song or were you like, you know, during the course of your yeah. day, stuff would come to you? No, this, this was, you know, we, this was an opportunity to do it. So for us, it was big for us. That's me and my crew. Yeah. So we had an opportunity to record this record because this guy was looking for a black female uh, rapper, which I was the only one in the country anyway. Right. So <laughs> at the game, you were the yes. first. I was. The, uh, yeah. At that. Uh, yeah, I was. I was in Belgium. I was the only female rapper at that time. So, you know, he's looking for a black female rapper. Hey, I got the gig. Uh, um, then, you know, I got the, the cassette and kind of put it to the side for a month. And then I guess he 
called me again and said, what's up, you know? And then I, I guess I, yeah, I, I wrote it down and went to the studio the next day. It took 15 minutes to write Pump Up the Jam, yeah? Really? But, yes, but you know, it, there's not a lot of content, yeah? If you what, pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stumping, and the jam, look at the, look at the ground. I mean, it's what, seven, I don't know the total, but it's not more than 10, I think, if you add it up. But yeah, so, you know, that was, that went pretty fast. And the rest too. But I think you can tell really, no, from the way it sounds. It's, it's very simplistic. To me, it sounds very simplistic. But it worked. I, it, I did, it worked. That's true. But because yeah. I guess, because I feel like I didn't put that much effort in it, that, you know, I'm kind of yeah. taken aback, I guess, when I get uh, big compliments about it because i feel like well, you should compliment music. yourself you you put out a lot of great music over the years and i'm not just talking about the stuff because i've listened to your stuff you know after technotron you put out a lot of great stuff um yeah that song from uh teenage mutant ninja turtles how did how did you feel was, was that song written for the movie or was that a song you the wrote one called then, awesome uh spin the one that wheel awesome right i know spin that wheel was actually recorded at around the same time as the technotronic songs for the pump of the jam album were recorded but it was a different project these three guys called themselves high tech three mm -hmm. and uh what did i i recorded one two right spin that wheel no spin that wheel it was a it was a 12 inch yeah i recorded that okay. with them and they used that for the first movie for the second movie though they did send me a script then asked me to write a lyric called uh, uh, yeah something called awesome because that's what the turtles always said Mm -hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I heard you tell a couple of stories, and I, I love your stories. That they're so interesting because I like the way you tell them. But in the beginning, when you went out socially and stuff, you got like an icy reception from other female rappers, and and you and you idolized them. Like you were a big fan of Latifah. Even in Get Up, you had a Queen Latifah shirt on. And uh, oh yeah, but she's always been really nice to me. From yeah, I mean, I they warmed she... up to you, you know, and same thing with MC Light, too. At first, like, you were telling a story about you were at a party, and, and then eventually, you know. No, it you was know... a party. It was at a radio station in Cincinnati. It was a radio station, and uh, I was just sitting at a table, but I know she made a comment like, you know, oh, there goes another one of those quiet ones, you know, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, I mean, I mean, I'm I mean, I, I don't see how else I, I could have been behaving. Like, you know, I was kind of, you know, I'm, I'm foreign in the States, kind of, you right, know. Right, right. You know, trying to, you know, I don't know, feel my way. I don't know, but yeah, so, but no, but you know, I spoke to her after that and she was really cool. And I'm right, right, yeah. Fan. So that was, that, that was, I, I like these stories. Um, now you did, you spent a lot of time in Belgium and that, that's got to be interesting. And, um, there was a, if you can tell the story, like, do you, do you did you run away to New York? Well, to Chicago. Chicago, okay. <laughs> I ran away to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my father was CEO of of uh, uh, Zairean National Airline. Yeah, so we traveled a lot, and I just happened to have like a closet, like a, a section in my closet full of unused tickets. Well, some were used, some were expired, but a lot of them were unused, and there were two that I could use because I well that I I had one a a, 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 a Nairo a visa. I had a ticket for Nairobi, Brussels, Nairobi, Brussels, and another ticket, Brussels, Chicago, Brussels. I happened to have a Zairean passport with a Kenyan visa, but it had expired because this was 1987 and the visa expired in 85. And then I tried to I scratch out the five and turn it into a seven. You know, in retrospect, I'm thinking, why didn't I try to turn it into an eight? That would have made more sense to turn a five into an eight than try to turn it into a seven. But anyway, it was so obvious that I said, okay, forget that. <laughs> Okay. And I, my Belgian passport had an indefinite tourist visa for the USA. So I, I left home. I spent a week in Amsterdam, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. Little... That's but, funny. Yeah. <laughs> I spent a week. And then I, I went to Brussels and it happened to be that 40 minutes after I got there that I got, that there was a plane leaving. And, you know, maybe if I had come a little, if I had come a little earlier, they might not have let me on that plane, you know? Because apparently my mom afterwards, obviously she went looking for me and even got to the airport when she found out, you know, she, you know, she, yeah, she, they told her that it's really weird that they let me through because by that time, indefinite tickets were no longer, you know, 
were no no longer uh, valid, like if right. an indefinite ticket would only be valid for a year, and that year had expired, uh. but somehow they let me through. So, but you know, I mean, you know, um, yeah, I I shouldn't brag about it, but you know, <laughs> oh, it's a fun <laughs> story. Mother, it's nothing, yeah. Statue of limitations is passed. You're okay now. <laughs> <laughs> Now, were, so, you, were, you, were, you, were you out of the Technotronic group, uh, um, like, open for Madonna and... Say that again? They, according to the Technotronic uh, in Wikipedia, I've been reading a lot, um, it says that you guys opened for Madonna. Were you part of that? Yes. Uh, yes. That was her Blonde Ambition tour. Well, we only did the USA, some of Canada, or I don't know um, how much of Canada we did, but the USA, Canada, and then we did Wembley Stadium. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. And then you but, were on Saturday Night Live. Huh? Was it, and then they did Saturday Night Live and the Arsenio Hall show? Yes, we did that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked the Arsenio Hall show. That was a great performance. Yeah. And he screwed, he screwed that up by bringing on, uh, that was a conspiracy guy or someone. I can't remember what it was, but there was, he messed up, show up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't, I don't, all the people that you come across, celebrity stuff. Who, who are you most starstruck by? That you're like, oh my god. Ha. Huh. No, I don't know if there's anybody that was most starstruck by. I kind of get starstruck even when when I see uh, people that I've worked with on a big screen, for instance. You know, like I have some choreographers of mine that have had parts in movies or whatever, whatever. And then, you know, like, ah, you know, that's that way, you know, <laughs> or anybody really, when I see, I don't know, when I see people that I, that I like, I, I'm, I, I think I'm, I get starstruck. Not really like some people do, but you know, I, I get excited and happy. <laughs> wow, the, who was, yeah. I was going to say, who was the coolest person that you, that you met? Was it someone in the music industry or did you get to meet like, famous actors i mean you guys are a big deal <laughs> back you know when yeah. that was hitting you know i think uh i don't know because everybody kind of made made an impression on me you know I, i'm not really the kind that kind of uh dweep how do you say that in english does dweep is is there such a word dweep in english <laughs> right oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah yeah Sometimes I take I take words from other languages because I think they might apply like mm -hmm. they, like. But anyway, I'm not too like I know some people that really get starstruck. I still see people as people, and you know, uh, and, you know. Uh, but everybody, everybody that I can think like you know, seeing Quincy Jones, Debbie Allen, even though I didn't really have a conversation with them. Uh, Debbie Will Allen. Smith, huh? just, oh wow, yeah. Uh, Debbie Allen from Fame, Debbie right? Allen, I, I, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I'm a big Debbie Allen fan, but she didn't really uh, uh uh acknowledge me <laughs> oh wow maybe yeah you know but i think yeah sometimes when you're really nervous you can give off a certain impression that it you know doesn't really reflect the way you feel it can come off as arrogant or i don't know you know i know that for instance the first time i went to school in belgium i was really really nervous that i walked in there with my head up and i had these cowboy boots with fashion then you know and i was walking like really like slow and you know i, I looked like like I had my nose up in the air and that I was the most <laughs> arrogant being ever. But in, inside, I was scared. I was really, really. So I can I can see how, you know, because I've had that with Taylor Dane, too. I think, you know, we were rolling up somewhere in Florida and out the uh, tour bus window. I, I saw her and I, I don't know what scared. I said, but I could tell I could tell from her reaction that she took it the wrong way, whatever I said, you know, so I oh, see that, sometimes um, maybe. The, yeah, that's a, don't worry about that. You tell them all. <laughs> That's yeah, we're interviewing you now, not them. That's all I'm saying. That's right. Yeah, we're not looking for them. We're looking for you. But uh, yeah, yeah. What do you? I mean, are you are you retired? Because it, it would be a shame to say. But I mean, I mean, you still have a a, a beautiful voice. Um, I've seen some videos. I don't know how old they are, but you were still doing a lot of like festivals and stuff. Have you hung up your microphone or? Uh well, you know, yeah. Do, do, well, no. Those the, those techniques Electronic shows, they kind of happened because um, MC Eric asked me to. So we started in 2009 and then, you know, I just, uh, anyway, it was convenient. Our son had to go to university. So, you know, we, we and then we, we did that for a little while. But, you know, I mean, I like to do other things. I, ha I mean, I have other music that is not getting the kind of attention technology. Right. <laughs> 
to be honest with you, I I don't. I mean, I the business. I kind of got sidetracked, if you want. I didn't focus on my career as much as my right. personal life, which right. I think is fine, you know, because obviously, you know, you got to have something to write about <laughs> if you're going to be an artist. Uh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. You got to have something, you got to have a story to tell. So you got to have some experience huh, before you Right, right, right. So the, all that, that most, song, most songs that people mm -hmm. write are based on something that happened in their life, you know? Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I so can't I, I tell you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no. I said, I do have a lot of songs, you know, that, that never, I mean, I have a lot of stuff, but I don't, I mean, unless I die before they can come out. You know, <laughs> I hope I so. Oh, God that. forbid. God forbid. Um, well, you know, COVID took my father this year, so oh, wow. <laughs> you never know. Nobody expected that. That just went poof. And I'm sorry to hear about that. But I, you know what, like I was telling you before the interview, yeah, yeah, I, we've had so many great guests on this show and you are like, I don't know, it's hard to explain the, the impact you made on me. You're like one of my favorite guests because you're not, you're, you're, you're just a regular person, but you, you've made such an impact and, and it's just, I don't know what it is. Like I told you, I've been working out at the gym. I've been playing all the, your old music and it's kind of motivated me. And I was just, I was driving in the car, listening to one of your songs. And I'm like, I wonder what she's doing now. She would be an interesting guest. And I, you know, and I've, you know, and I've had dozens of hundreds and hundreds of celebrities, but you are by far my most favorite right now. Thank you. <laughs> I uh, appreciate. Um, um, can you? Um, did you had a story that you told on one of your videos about being in New York and you you got arrested by the NYPD? Arrested in New York. You, you were in the you were in the New York and uh, you were in the police station. They found out that you were a runaway and. Oh no! Yeah, no, no. I walked up that when I was fifteen when I ran away. No, no, no. At some point, see, I'd, I'd spend the night in the shelter. That is to say, two hours because I got there at four a.m. and at six a.m. they kicked everybody out. So I spent two nights in the shelter. It was the middle of the winter, yeah, and uh, I, I'd, I'd been roaming the whole day <laughs> through the city, and I, I had no money, and I, I, re I realized I said, "What am I gonna do?" You know what? I thought, I thought I was smart to throw away my passport, so I, I got rid of my passport. And one of the those big uh, bins there in the <laughs> side streets. Oh, wow. anyway, but then I, re I I realized, but what am I gonna do? I'm, I can't do nothing. So I walked up to the to a. Uh, I called the shelter because I had a card, so I made a collect call to the shelter. They told me I told them where I was. They told me, oh, there are there are cops. There should be cops right over there, which they were. So I walked over to them, and as I'm approaching them, I'm I'm telling them I'm a 15 year old runaway from Belgium, and I've come to turn myself in. <laughs> of course, they're staring at me. <laughs> so the, the throwing, at away, me. throwing away of the I passport. It's, uh, uh, so the throwing away of the passport is something a lot of people do in England because it's harder to deport them <laughs> if they can't find their passport. <laughs> <laughs> they looked at. They must have looked at you like you were crazy when you said, "I'm here to turn myself." They in. did. They did. It, like you know, but so and I ended up at the police station. And then, of course, you know they they figured out it was true. They called my mom. I called my mom. Well, they called my mom. I got on the phone with my mom, and I guess they called the consulate, the Belgian consulate. Anyway, yeah, I got picked up by the consulate first, and went over to his house for a few hours. And my father had a friend in Chicago. He picked me up, and then he dropped me off at his wife and son's place because they weren't living together anymore. And I kind of stayed there for a little while, went back to Belgium to get my papers in order <laughs> to get a new passport wow. and came back to Chicago with the intention to start studying there. But before that actually could happen, you know, I ended up back in Belgium because I was a little bit wayward. So to wow. Speak. That's <laughs> a crazy okay. story that most people that run away, they they run away to the next city. You, you came across America. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was I was really really enamored with America. Like America to me was like you know one day I got I gotta I gotta be there I gotta go there. I remember back in we were vacationing in Mombasa when I was really young and there was a USS Navy ship <laughs> that docked over there, and one of the sailors was courting one of my sisters. And you know I thought to myself, oh gosh, I hope they get married. <laughs> 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 you turn Chicago's got to be Chicago's got to be a lot colder than where you lived before right 
Oh, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that is to say I was in Belgium huh, when I went to Chicago. So, yeah, but it is pretty, it is much cold. It's the windy city. Yeah? It was really, really cold, actually, because I did feel like, 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 yeah, you know, when it's that cold, you feel like your ears are going to break if you touch them. No, you've never been in that. Oh, yeah, cold. yeah. Believe me. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah Technotronic anyway. aside, you know, that music included. Um, what do you, what do you, uh, of all the stuff that you recorded and sang, even, even if it hasn't been released, what are you most proud of that you've done? What is like your favorite, like the gem that you're like, I'm so glad I did this. <laughs> release things. Let me think. They're like not really release things, you know? It's like a, 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 a dub plate I did with these. Uh, this Belgian Belgian sound system, massive sound, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So they play, they DJ wherever they do their thing. I mean, that was years ago, that two thousand or you know, something like that. You know, wow. I like also I like what what I did with the D A A U. Is that I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a German thing. the The track is called Merry Go Round, and they're you know they got like. Oh okay, All right, we gotta check that out. I gotta find that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the video get up, where was that recorded at? Because it was, I, it was like a cool video. I like that. London. Yeah, that was in London. In oh, okay, UK. London. Okay, okay. I didn't. England, all... yes. And... Yeah. Around just or just after you guys hit uh, the other group, Two Unlimited, they're from Belgium too. Did you ever get to work with those guys? Oh, Ray, yeah. Uh, I think that they Ray and Anita are Dutch, yeah. I think the producers okay. Are I, I know it is the, the the producers from Belgium, so that's what made me think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we we ran into each other a lot, especially in the you know since two thousand and from two thousand nine till you know till I stopped in twenty eighteen huh, to do shows. But I ran into them a lot, and then it was just Ray because I guess Anita stopped. Uh, I saw you do an interview with Ray at, uh, probably a few years yes, ago. It was like was... on one of those uh, morning shows. Yeah. And was it Perth? Or Australia, Perth? right? Yeah. 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 So, I mean, you, 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 you kind of retired, but I know, I think the world needs to see more of you. We need you, we need you to come back and, and lift our hearts again. Mm -hmm. I mean, come to the States for a couple of shows. We'd love to see you back on stage with your Queen Latifah shirt and your baseball hat and your gold <laughs> chains. And... Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know as far as technotronic shows go, you know, and I, I just, I just, you know, I just can't tell because sometimes you may have plans and wishes and, you know, and the, the, when it doesn't work out the way you want, you want to, then you're left there with your mouth full of teeth. I mean, do you, do you miss <laughs> being on stage? I mean. No, you know something. I've always been petrified of this day. Seriously, <laughs> I've always been so much more. Yes, I've always been petrified of this day. I've always been so much more comfortable in a studio, like you know, hidden away. That going on stage is something that I don't know. It's taken a long time. It does happen that I'm comfortable on stage, but mostly yeah. I pretty much want to poop myself. Oh, you would never tell watching you perform that you have any kind of fear or anything. <laughs> Yeah, you know, me myself, I can tell. I can tell when I'm ultra nervous, you know. But there are times when actually, when 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 it's cool. But they're more, they're they are, they're quite rare in comparison to the it's, times that I'm. It sound it sounds like uh, I get nervous before I do stand up, but once I get on the stage, it's all okay, right? It's it's, it's all okay. Uh, well, yeah, right. Once you're there, once you, is exactly it's before you gotta go, and then suddenly you got one to run. Brush you get the, the first back. couple of lines out, and then you've. Uh, if that, Once you're that, on there, it's easy yeah. like, do or die, right? You, you, right, you don't exactly. Be, that first know. line doesn't hit, you're in trouble. <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> you're like, oh, my God. Uh, I, I wanted to reiterate this because, the you know, Animal House Radio does go out on American Forces Network, and I, I know I mentioned this to you before the show, but, um, you know, some of our men and women are stationed in areas where the bottom can drop out at any minute. They're in dark, lonely places. And they don't get much contact with their family. And, you know, they make work 18, 20 hours a day and get that half hour, hour downtime. And for them to be able to listen to a Technotronic song or, or hear Ya Kid K or, or watch a movie or a TV show for that half hour, hour that brings them home, um, it means a lot to them. It makes the difference. And I just wanted to, you know, 
it's it's always great that we thank our servicemen and women for what they do but i want to make sure that on their behalf that i i let you know to thank you for the entertainment value you provided for so many years and and just the, the uplifting music that you provided and, and your positive role model you know first female rapper uh, which which is which is a milestone. That's something to be proud of. I mean, you set the bar high for a lot of people. You may not think so, yeah, yeah, but that that's my personal opinion. And I think you are uh, such a positive role model and icon over the years. And 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 thank you on their behalf for for what you did. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm very happy to 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 know that that you know something I did had had a such an effect on anybody at all. So. Thank you. Oh, you're you're quite welcome. Um, I wanted to uh, Paul. Do you have any last questions? Because I want to, you know. I do, wanna... do you do do you? I know you said you did some reunion stuff. Do you ever do those like '90s reunion tours where they have like five or six groups from back in the '90s? And yeah, stuff? that's what I've been. That's mostly what we've been doing, like pretty much since you know, uh, for almost a decade, like from 2000 that toward. The end of 2009, we started. Okay, I, I would say from 2010 till 2018, that was the majority of shows were those kind of shows were like nostalgia, back to the right. 90s. Yeah. Yes. In, in we Europe, need more of that right now. Rewind tours are huge in Europe. They have 80s rewind, 90s rewinds, and you know all the we need them tours. here, especially post COVID. Yeah, oh yeah, I definitely need them. They, I don't know why they don't do them over here, but you know, I don't know. Yeah. How many languages do you speak? If you lived in Belgium, and I speak three fluently, and then I can kind of uh, find my way with two more. But three fluently, so, well, English, French is technically my first language. Actually, French, I, I consider French my first language, though my mother says it's Dutch. I don't think so, because I mm -hmm. remember speaking French with all my siblings, even my mom and my dad. And then whenever we had to go on vacation to Belgium, then she would decide to speak Dutch Flemish with us like a month in advance and I would get so angry, you know, I would get so frustrated and angry because I couldn't understand anything. But then, you know, it came back and then we spent two months in Belgium, in Flanders, in Antwerp. So we speak Flemish. Then we moved from Africa, from uh, Congo. Well, we moved from Congo to, to Belgium. Yes. Right. No, we moved from Congo, from Zaire at the time, from Zaire to Kenya, where they speak English. We attended the French school over there because we came from French-speaking territory. And then we moved to Belgium, to Flanders, where they speak Flemish. And we kind of already had a little training with that. And, you know, then I went to Flemish school over there. So so I speak uh, Francais, Netherlands, and English fluently. And then I, I try to dabble in a little Espanol and Lingala, which is my country's national language. Besides That's French. very cool. Huh? That's very cool. Yeah. Why, why did you choose to settle where you are now? Uh, um, do you not want to stay in the U.S. or? I I used to live in the U.S. and I met my husband there, who's a Nigerian, and I'm in Nigeria now. <laughs> okay. We moved from the U.S. lived in the U.S. for a while, and then moved to Belgium, and then from Belgium we moved to Nigeria. So we've been here since 2006 in Nigeria. Well, you got to come back to to uh, New York. We miss you. Right. Uh, yeah, that's a, another complicated book worth uh, of a tale. <laughs> well, you don't you don't have you don't have outstanding yeah. warrants out, do you? <laughs> no, no, one thing I don't have no 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 warrants, no criminal record. But uh, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a long story. Maybe I, I don't think right I don't think Technotronic is you know in the same league as like you know NWA. They're allowed. They're allowed in the U.S. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, I just want you to know you're missed, and and you know, I I hope you start performing again because it's a shame you have a voice that needs to be heard, a voice that we all know and love for years, and will continue to. A um, couple of last things I wanted to just ask you: um, you think you could give us a couple of verses to get up? <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? How many people ask me that? Oh, <sighs> what do you want me? Just, get up on your feet before the night is through. You won't miss. Get down to the beat. Bump it, stomp it, jam, trip on this. You know, it's different when you're on a mic and you. Right. You know, right, right. No, I just want to be. I think she was singing Get Up before this interview is over. 
<laughs> get up, get up, get up, get up, get up and move that body. Get up, people, now get down to it for the night is over. But you know what? You should go to my Yakit K music. What is it? Yakit K music on YouTube. Yes. I throw some little random things on there. Yeah, I love those videos. That's stuff. how I found you. I didn't know it was you when I was like, you know, because... I couldn't find you on any social media. And I mean, I, I looked for months and I was like, I saw this video on YouTube and I'm like, does anybody know how I can get in touch with her? <laughs> and, and lo and behold, it was you. I was like, when I got that email, I was like, no way. That is so cool. But um, <laughs> like, I hope you start performing again. Like I said, that's, that's your thing. But you know, I know a lot of people would love to see and hear from you again. Um, and I just want you to know that, um, you have an open invite anytime you want to come on and shoot the breeze with us, talk about music, anything you want about, you know, I, I love the video you did about all these, these cool movies that you were watching, which was what's a lot of them I've seen too. That was pretty cool, but uh, they put a smile on my face and I think that's, that's what it was all about. And, you know, even though it was a little impromptu video, you know, but uh, I thought it was cool because you, we get to see a different side of you, you know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you do you if you do you have kids and, and if so, have they heard the technotronic music? I have six, but you know, uh, the okay, the oldest one is 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 a technotronic baby, right? Because he was kind of conceived during that time and born during right. that time, so he knows. And he's been on the road with uh, uh, Eric and I, so he yes. <laughs> so, but the other ones, kind of one of the I have a twins, like thirteen year old twins, and I when that one two two or three years ago. One of them found out about me. I, I never spoke to them about it, you know, but he found really? me online or something. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can understand, you know, people that do bad things, but, you know, that was good. Why, well, I don't know why you hide it. I mean, yeah. Everybody no, has not, something I'm on not, YouTube not. that they don't want their kids to see, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not hiding it. You know, there's so, so many things happened throughout my <laughs> young adult life for for instance you know all the gold and platinum records that you get you know right. the little mm -hmm. award like i don't have any of them you know is i've been robbed <laughs> oh wow wow you know well, we got we got to do something about that i i know a guy <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long ago i i mean i don't like you know uh, yeah, yeah. If, if one of, of your things. kids wanted to go into the music business, would you support them or say no way? Oh no, no, no! I would support whatever you know, because I, I don't think there's any point in holding anybody back from something they really want to do. You know, even if it means that they're gonna do it, and then, you know, they might feel like it's not what they thought it was gonna be, or they want to do something else after that. You know, I mean, you gotta do. I'm happy. You know, I'm, I'm happy that I did what I did. You know, I wanted to so badly and it had to happen now, now, now when I was young. And it did. And even though it came with a lot of uh, <laughs> side effects. <laughs> right. Well, well, I mean, that's what you live and you learn. And, you know, you could always, you yeah. know, if your kids ever wanted to go and follow in your footstep, at least, you know, you can give them a roadmap to help protect them a little better than what you had to go through. But, and the, the, the yeah. system has changed a lot, right? Because you can put videos on YouTube yeah, and become yeah, so, number one, you know? I mean, you could do your own right. stuff and put it on YouTube. You don't even have to deal with a label like you did in the past, you know? Right, 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 yeah. And right now, you know, I got it. My youngest kid is like, what, six? So, you know, my priorities have to kind of be on, on those right, children. Right, right. No, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Mean, yeah, yeah. But, well, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I mean, shoot. I am music, you know? <laughs> music. Uh, absolutely. Be part yeah. of it for as long as... Well, I, I, I hope you I hope you get back to performing and you know if if you ever come to the states you got to let us know cuz we'll we'll roll the troops for that and and you know we'll we'll show our love and support and and I I really can't thank you enough be, be, for coming on because I really enjoyed this because you know uh, it was just it's just something about that time that you know growing up and it was very impactful for me and you were the soundtrack of our our uh, our teenage years and 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 even younger and uh like i said there, there's we can never thank you enough for that and like i said you're a friend of the sh consider yourself a friend of the show for for life and before we let you go would you do one small favor for us would you do a station id for us 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you're going to say, you know, introduce yourself. Hey, this is Yaakib K, and you're listening to Animal House Radio. Animal House Radio. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hey, y'all. This is Yaakib K, and you are listening to Animal House Radio. Look at that. See that one take. She's still got it, right? folks. Yeah. She even did the, the countdown. Yeah. You see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I want to wish you much love, much blessings, and be safe in where you are. And like Thank I said, you. if you. if you ever need anything, you just let us know. <laughs> okay. Well, you're in New Jersey. <laughs> so yeah, we're yeah, in Jersey, like me a, and Paul. Uh, from down on is it Fulton Street in Brooklyn? <laughs> Yes, that's not yes. far. That's not far away. It's close enough. If you're there, no, we, we can, can we can, can we'll come to Fulton. Fort. Yeah, we'll come to Fulton Street. Yo, for you, we'll come. We'll we'll come to Zaire if we have to, but Fulton yeah. Street we can do. <laughs> yeah, because now I'm kind of shuttling between both places. I'm kind of in 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 Nigeria and the DRC, kind of. Oh wow! At the but, same uh, time. Well, whatever you do, you stay safe. Love and blessings you to too. you and the family, and. Uh, like we hope to see you on stage soon, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, God willing. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you so much. All right, everybody. That that's uh, was our interview with Yah K K. And what's the uh, yeah yeah? What's the YouTube channel if they want to check it out? Well, the one with music on is called Yah K Music. That one is on YouTube, and then there's uh, there's the one that the uh, Rasta one is where I talk most of the time. I like <laughs> that music, one. If you want to. Hear you can go to the to Yakit K Music channel, and uh, there's also some playlists with other things, huh? with other like Technotronic or whatever other. Like I, I put them on playlists on that channel. But there's all some uh, videos, some tunes. I'm just, you know. I recommend I everybody around. checking out that channel and show your love. If you if you remember her and and loved her music, show your support and love. But uh, once again, Paul, thank you for being my wingman today. Uh, no problem, man. But uh, great, I want to. Well, I wish great I could guess. see. You. No, I can't. Great speak, guess. But, okay. Nice to meet Take you. Take care. Good we'll day. see you all next time right here on Animal House Radio.